Welcome my darlings or welcome back. I'm Melly and I'm here with you today with a pick a card reading where we are going to find out what blessings are coming your way that you don't see them coming. So I have three piles for you to choose from and pile number one is this card pile number two is this one and pile number three is this one so you can choose whichever pile or piles you feel most drawn to you will find all the timestamps down below in the description box and i look forward to see you in your reading welcome my dear pile one you chose the celestite and this is your main card and it says here number 17 grief accepting loss and you know like the immediate um vibe that i'm getting with this card is that i'm seeing all these skulls here and it instantly uh reminds me of ego deaths so i'm getting that um maybe the last year but you know for many of you i'm getting that um, these months like maybe from January and after like up until now this is a, a timeless reading but I'm now recording it uh, on May 2024 so maybe if you don't see it on May like I'm getting almost the last five months uh, that you have been going through um an intense transformation, something like, uh, yeah, and I'm getting that maybe you are someone who have already been, you know, through some ego deaths uh, throughout your life. And um, yeah, like I'm getting that in this period, like this maybe uh, last five months up to a year, like this process has been intensified in a way. Um, I'm getting that you had to go through a lot and, you know, like understand some things. And um, I want to say, Pile One, that you are a very uh, brave soul and that your spirit guides really acknowledge that. And... Um, uh, it says here grief and I'm getting that you know this grief sometimes when um, when we lose a part of ourselves that we thought that um, it was meant to stay like there like we thought that you know a part of our ego um, was something that you know we we should maintain like that's where sometimes when we go through an ego death like where all this grief and uh, sorrow is coming from like we attach ourselves into a certain like uh, aspect and then when this aspect dies like um, there is a lot of grief coming into the surface and just like the smoke in this card like it waits to be released and you know as when we have like a death it's like something is coming out of our lives and then like something new is coming to fill that space and you know in the in-between states there is an empty space uh that it's usually like um causing uh, some sorrow because you know we feel that emptiness uh, but you know I'm feeling that uh, for you what you don't see coming like for many of you I'm getting this um, sorrow energy this like uh, 
uh, what am I even supposed to do? What will I do with my life? Like, uh, uh, is it normal that I'm going through all that? And, you know, like I'm hearing have faith, have faith, dear one, because um, there was something that needed to come out from your system in order for something new to take place. So um, I'm really feeling here that I have to give you that message that, you know, have, um, have faith that everything is working uh, in your favor. And let's see your uh, tea leaves. First, we have grasshopper with situations in the balance that require careful handling. Yeah, like that's um, that's exactly what I thought, like that you are in an in-between stage where, you know, like everything has fallen out and nothing has yet like started. So um, there is this uh, balance uh, that needs to be held, but maybe you feel also a little bit um, tired. Okay, so we have career also. Let's put it here. We have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learn, learned. Um, yeah, like exactly. And also I'm getting that maybe you have been trying again and again to find a solution to your problems and maybe like nothing um, was working out for you. We also have September here, like uh, number nine I'm getting also. Number nine is uh, a number of uh, completion. Uh, it's also like a number that I'm getting. Um, uh, it has like a karma essence to it. Uh, I'm not getting a bad vibe, you know, like when I'm saying karma is like... Um, when you think of number nine, uh, whatever uh, whatever number you put uh, in number nine, like it gives you um, the same uh, number uh, again, like if that makes sense, let's say like we have nine and five, it gives us um, 14, four and one, it gives us five again. So I'm getting with that, that um, whatever efforts you have been putting on like in the past uh, couple of months and maybe you didn't see like results coming back your way, I'm seeing these results coming back to you in a very beautiful and prosperous way. So maybe September will be a month where you will see... Um, uh, big things like uh, coming your way. Wow, I love that. Yeah, we have dolphin with financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Wow, <laughs> that's so synchronistic. I love that for you, pile one. And we have like um, the lessons to be learned and we have career here. So I'm getting whatever you are dealing with right now or you have been dealing with, I'm getting that throughout like maybe from this month that you are watching the reading and uh, maybe um, up until the next four months, I'm seeing things coming to you like... Um, gradually and you are you will see, you will start seeing the fruits of your labor is what i'm getting something is really coming um i'm getting full circle for you we also have on the back of the deck venus in aquarius with detachment yeah like with that i'm getting that um sometimes we have to detach from a, a specific like uh goal or a specific way that we want things to manifest because spirit uh first of all i'm getting that uh this period was not in vain uh, spirit wanted to really show you some things that you needed to work on in order to move forward and um, 
when you get to you know incorporate the, those um, um, those lessons, then I'm seeing things really uh, starting to um, to move forward for you. Wow! And we have Mercury in Aquarius again with originality. Like maybe something um, is starting to work out for you. Um, you know, for some of you, maybe you had to really let go of some self-limiting beliefs. I'm getting with both uh, like Aquarius here, like you are an innovative spirit. You are someone who really has like a, a way of seeing things for the future. And maybe, you know, all this time you really had to let go of some uh, old beliefs that um, kept you back, kept you uh, almost like a hostage. And, the you know, sometimes people uh, project their own limits onto us. So when we have something like as original as yours, like maybe an idea, a project, um, something that is really out there, I'm getting that people um, cannot always, um, let's say, accept that, but um, I'm trying to find a better word, like, um, yeah, like they're projecting their own limitations, like, oh, you cannot do that, like, that is not possible, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. And, you know, like the most important thing is in those situations is not what other people are saying, but what you start believe that is possible, you know, for yourself. And I'm getting that this period of, you know, lessons and grief and ego deaths is like maybe uh, I'm getting also that you learned how to um, dissipate your fears how to dissipate what uh, your expectations and stuff like that. Um, I'm seeing also that you you left behind what no longer no longer served you, and now you are, um, you know, becoming lighter and becoming more focused on what you really want, who you are, what you want and how you are going to accept uh, or not like other people's restrictions. And on the back we have the chipmunk and laurel with success. Laurel is like, um, uh, is the plant where like the wreath uh, for um, the... Uh, Olympic uh, champions like um, um, they gave uh, what I want to say is that they gave a laurel wreath to everyone who won like something in the Olympic Games so that's like a very good omen and everyone knows that you know when we have like um, an athlete like it's not that um, yeah like maybe some of them have uh, were born with some, um, you know, um, with some skills. But uh, the most important thing is how you manage, you know, to work and practice and, you know, like have a schedule and, you know, like being able to show up like um, show yourself every day. Like it's not about all... Mm, it's not about the schedule, uh, but um, like the consistency. And I'm seeing that uh, if you have been putting some work out there, if you have been consistent with something, uh, I'm seeing that this is the time where your star is going to shine bright. Um, it's almost like the the athletes on the Olympic Games, like they have been practicing and practicing so hard. And when the time comes to really show their worth, like it's their own like um, um, their own sweat and tears that are going to prove like how much they um 
they wanted that you know and i'm seeing like the same energy with you like um i don't know if you are an athlete or you know something like that but i'm getting the energy of that you have been trying to um to go forward and you have been doing all the work and we have here the lizard and pitcher plant with stagnation and i find it so fitting because when we have like the this lizard like uh, she has the ability to you know when her tail is trapped in somewhere sometimes it's this pitcher plant which is a carnivorous plant and you know she has the ability to leave her tail behind so as we were discussing here about the ego deaths i'm seeing that you had to leave something behind you had to leave like um, a self-limiting belief uh, something that someone else has been telling you like oh you cannot do this you cannot do that like stuff like that and uh, yeah like sometimes it's not easy but um, um, yeah at the end of the day it's not enough for you to do the work it's also like it needs for you to have the right mindset in order to move forward and if you have self-limiting beliefs like however hard you are working sometimes it's not going to happen for you because you know your mind is more um uh, is working towards what is not working out for you rather than what is working for you and i feel that what uh, that this is exactly what spirit wanted you to know and understand during all this time and now as you are shifting and as you are leaving behind whatever is not you know mm, part of your identity i'm seeing things starting to you know just like a, a well-oiled machine like things are going to start coming your way and uh, mm, really uh, giving you mm, um, like i'm getting something like uh, giving um, results all of a sudden but it's almost like you don't have to do anything more something like that i'm seeing uh, almost like this machine like um going in the uh autopilot so yeah like i'm getting that the biggest blessing here is that you had this period of frustration and things uh, not working out for you but it was really essential for you to leave some things behind in order for all these things to work out at the end yeah and we have the ace of cups like i'm getting such a liberating energy with that i'm getting uh that your um, you are being freed from your own emotions but also like you understand how much power do you have how much things were meant to go your way and you know maybe you are someone that you were thinking that things were against you and we have uh, the ten of swords and it's exactly what I was thinking, like um, whatever you have been through is not your enemy, it's your teacher. And look how this old man is looking uh, this owl in the eyes and we have all the swords like um, depicted in the owl, like uh, what he have been through uh, became his own wisdom. So not everything uh, will go not everything are in vain is what i want to say and we have the lovers at the back of the deck maybe you are meeting someone or maybe you are um you maybe assistance also is coming your way but what i'm getting uh, uh, most you know with this energy here is that 
I'm getting emerging inside your own like uh, self and it's interesting how we have here the cups like female energy water and we have the swords like the mind um, uh, divine masculine like energy I'm getting this um, both of these energies really um, mingling inside of you and becoming like one uh, they are not opposing like what you want and what you wish and your what you feel is not um, something that goes against your mind and you know vice versa like your mind is not going against your feelings so I'm getting that um, when you realize that when you go through these ego deaths and you know you let everything like steam off and uh, let go of everything that is not serving you i'm getting that there is plenty of space where you can start working towards what you really want and what and not what other people want from you so yeah that's the message that i've i've got for for you pile one <laughs> sorry my tongue was twisted there and yeah like thank you so much for watching comment down below if you resonated with this reading also thank you for liking and subscribing because it helps me a lot with the channel and i will see you in the next one fear nothing i believe in you bye pile two you chose the amethyst point and your card is number 16 uh, distraction releasing your anger and uh, the vibe that i'm getting with this card is that um, there is a freeing a releasing energy uh, for you something um, I'm getting a, a warrior-like energy. You know, the interesting thing is that um, pile number one had the same energy, but it was more um, grounded in um, sorrow. Uh, and for your pile, I'm getting that something is not... Um, I'm hearing convenient to you anymore, like uh, you are taking matters in your own hand, you don't want uh, to be stuck any longer, um, maybe you had some like intense realizations and now you feel that it's the time, you know, to... Um, to move forward, to act accordingly, to free up space in your life. Also with the anger here, I'm getting that maybe for some of you, you had been through some intense realizations in the past, um, in the past maybe couple of months. And these realizations uh, brought some uh, feelings of discomfort, maybe anger, maybe you are angry towards some people in your past, maybe you feel that you were taken uh, um, for granted, maybe you feel that um, some people like took advantage of you and now you are in the process of, you know, like realizing what went wrong and you know you are in the process of you know maybe like feeling all your feelings in order to let them go to release them and um, yeah like maybe find some peace of mind with everything that happened um yeah you know i'm getting i'm hearing uh um nothing happened uh in, in order to hurt you uh, I'm hearing like your spirit guide saying that like some things happened for you to realize uh, your worth and value and how um, how like uh, you deserve more uh, yeah like I'm getting I'm seeing someone maybe realizing uh, maybe you were betrayed in the past 
um, yeah, I'm feeling this burning like pain, something like it's uh, eerie, really irritating inside of you, almost like something um, uh, that pierced your heart. Uh, I'm getting this vibe pile too. So whatever happened there, like I'm, I'm so sorry for um, you know, like that you had to go through all that but know that um, you know your spirit guides are there with you and they're saying that you really have to go through that in order to understand for yourself that you know your presence is a divine gift and whoever is around you like um, it's not that you are going you know to uh, make other people prove themselves but also like realize your worth and you know that whatever you are giving is not something that you know like um, uh, it's a given like almost uh, they wanted you to realize that they wanted you to um, really take accountability for yourself and uh, they wanted you also to know that uh, I'm hearing like you were with the wrong people for some time in your life. So, yeah, something along these lines. Maybe there is a oh, this card also wants to come out. Wow. We have haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. Yeah, so I'm getting with this card that also you were surrounding, surrounded by specific people that they were not good for you. So, you know, karma is something that we say, you know, it's good, it's bad, you know, stuff like that. But I am seeing it more of like um, there is a, a cycle. You know, th things that come up, come down, and things things that were they were down, they come up. So, whatever is happening in your life, like know that nothing is nothing stays the same. The good uh, do not stay the same, and also the bad not stay the same. So have faith, and I'm seeing that after this huge clearing, maybe you we're feeling i'm seeing the three of swords right now in my mind's eye and um, yeah like whatever you have been through i'm seeing a huge purging in your heart space we have forest muddled unclear thinking yeah maybe right now you are um in the process of you know um Maybe sometimes like they say that, you know, you see the tree and you cannot see the whole forest. But um, I'm sensing that the um, the opposite is uh, real for you right now. Whatever real means to you, like, you know, but I'm seeing that maybe you are seeing the whole forest like the one and specific event that happened to you and you think that your whole life is uh, you know like it's going to be this way and it's instead you cannot see that this whole um, um, forest is made from you know like specific individual trees so you have like many things to see and take from and you know like really learn it's not like um that one thing uh is um like taken for granted we also have broken ring parting of the ways either in romance or business um let's see this one we have happiness so I'm getting that, you know, things maybe didn't work out for you because there is another plan for you. And um, yeah, like sometimes we ask the universe, like, please, like, make me happy. And then, you know, like weird stuff, uh, weird stuff uh, start to happen. Like we lose our jobs, we um, maybe get a divorce or break up with a loved one. Uh, but, you know, like uh, we then turn to the universe and say, like, 
but universe i ask you to be uh, to make me happy and you know like the universe is saying in its own unique way like where you were going with whom you were going or you know like with the environment that you were in you were you were not going to be happy and you ask me for you you know to make things to arrange things around you in order to put you in the road for happiness and what i wanted to show you is that wherever you were going like in this way with these people and stuff like that you were they were not going to make you happy so instead of you know like looking the whole forest for this time like as like I am a huge failure, I am not this, I am not that, like, instead of looking what you are lacking, I'm seeing that the universe is asking you right now to see what you have, and uh, yeah, like, maybe a gratitude journal will be, like, um, um, you know, important for you. We have rose with romance is in the air. So with a broken ring and romance here, I'm getting that maybe there was a, a big breakup for you. Something like that, something in the romantic field. But also it could be a friendship, you know. Uh, I'm getting maybe, um, okay, so maybe uh, for some of you, because I got the three of swords, maybe there was a three... Uh, a triangle situation maybe you caught someone cheating or maybe you know you were betrayed by a friend like if that happened i'm so sorry like uh but also like remember in this kind of situations that it's not that uh you are wrong it's not that you were wrong it's not that you um you were like um you were someone that you know should have have you know um, experienced that, but m more in the, the f closer to the truth is that maybe you had some people around you that you were um, trusting, uh, and uh, you know that's a way that was the way to see that they were not meant to stay in your life they were not um um you know like uh, people that you could trust and i find it um sometimes very like um you know it's not fair that uh, if you are in the part that you know trusted someone and then that someone like betrayed you I find it so unfair that you know we say to ourselves like but you know I was naive I was stupid I was this I was that because I trusted the said person like why we um we think that our open heart is something you know that can um, that can bring us problems you know that can uh, that needs like punishment because we are the ones punishing ourselves and I am I am really called to say here to you pile two that you were not in the wrong you were not like um, uh, someone who did something wrong but uh, most of all i'm getting that the people that are betraying us is the people who cannot stand our light and please like your spirit guides are saying that after you know you release all your ang all your anger all your feelings all your mm, difficult like emotions like do not um dim your light do not um uh, you know like retrieve yourself do not let this world uh, harden you because at the end of the day it's what they wanted from the start like they were um, they were really jealous of how you were uh, holding your life you were holding yourself and they wanted to you know to dim this light and they tried you know to um, 
bring you pain in order to, you know, um, make you shine, you know, less bright. So do not let them do that to you. Do not let them take your own light. Do not let them take your shine. Like if you have like a beautiful shiny light, have better boundaries is what I'm getting here, uh, pile two. Like the universe is saying that after you are you are clearing all this um, stuff, all these hard feelings. I'm seeing you um, being able to see the light again and not only seeing the light, but also protecting your own light. We have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. We have younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Um, and we have june okay so maybe there is a new relationship for you coming uh you know to heal you coming to um, really um you know make things like uh prove you that not all things are meant to stay like in the same way on the back of the deck we have jupiter with uh, jupiter um, in sagittarius with principle and i'm getting here that um you are meant to stay in your course you are meant to stay and hold your principles tight like do not become like these people that um, inflicted pain on you do not become like uh, uh, you know like these people with the hardened hearts that and the lack mentality that they feel the need you know to steal your light uh, in order to you know feel better with themselves like whatever they did they did that you know um, because they thought that they couldn't have it themselves and um, you know like spirit is saying here that you know you are better off first of all without these people second of all you are better uh, with like your strong boundaries because we have here Saturn in Scorpio with inheritance and the first thing that I thought when I saw this card is that you know we have inheritance, we have something like a treasure, a castle, something, you know, tangible. So if you have like uh, something that is precious, you are not going to protect that. We have this huge like uh, labyrinth here, like when, um, and I'm not saying like make it difficult to everyone who wants to approach you, but please like pile uh, to... I'm getting that uh, your spirit guides are saying that um, you are going to move forward with um, with better boundaries, like protect your light, protect your treasure. It's not for everyone um, to get access to you. And uh, like, um, yeah, I know that you trusted these people and that you... Um, you thought that they were, you know, uh, some s people that you could, um, you know, have faith in and stuff like that. But um, sometimes we need to see the truth in the hard way in order to believe it. We have on the back of the deck the Coyote and Datura with Deceit. And uh, like that's such a seven of swords energy like someone tried to take something from you without your um <clears throat> without uh letting you know and um yeah like uh, that's a painful uh realization to have especially when you have put your trust in those people and we have the boar and pumpkin with confidence. And yeah, like, of course, uh, your spirit guides do not want you to lose your confidence. Or if you feel that you have lost your confidence, uh, they're saying that, first of all, karma, we have the haystack here. We have Saturn, which is 
a huge karma um, planet and also like with the confidence here they're saying like have confidence in what you are giving to other people it's not about um the whole incident that happened you know it's also about uh what you let other people um or maybe how much you let other people uh close to your light and how many people have this beautiful advantage so i'm getting that in this uh in the june um you know this is a timeless reading i'm filming uh on may so whenever you are watching around a month or two um further like i'm seeing something else making you really really happy like um yeah like maybe you you maybe you retreat yourself maybe you started like um you know something on your own maybe you took your beautiful energy and you are start, starting something from you know like the start because i'm getting here with the tiger and taking a chance doing something risky that you know after something like ended in your life and you were really angry with all that that you know you took a risk on yourself and you really um uh, went in on the, you went inside and uh, you know realized that you were not something uh uh, not something you are not someone that other people uh, should take for granted yeah wow and what a beautiful omen we have the sun we have the june like uh, i believe that um, something about the summer months i'm getting here pile two for you like the summer months will be very um beautiful and i'm getting also like confidence with the su with the sun we have five of swords and justice wow so much uh karma for your um for your pile yeah like of course with the five of swords like i'm getting that um maybe people tried to um try to make you like uh, suffer like how you see like this um beautiful butterfly and um yeah like um i'm also getting that do not like uh think um have like these um thoughts that they are um, taking you away from yourself also to like your spirit guides are saying that um do not um mm, do not punish yourself for something that you didn't do do not go over and over and try to find why uh, things happen this way like uh, the most like important explanation that uh, you should know is that that these people were not meant for you and they tried you know to steal your life to steal your light i'm sorry with a um, with a very cunning energy and I'm getting that you are going to get your justice. You are going to get your karma back. Something is coming in your way. Maybe with this younger man here, we have like uh, maybe a new love interest. Maybe you freed up your space and now you are welcoming new people. And I'm seeing that in the summer months or maybe starting from June, like you will start um, meeting people that they were they are more in your vibe than the previous people that you had in your life yeah and also i'm really called to say that you know this was divine timing something crumbled in order for the the new people to come in your life and you know for you to have like this new mindset of you know like i protect my life i have my own boundaries but also i am letting other people to show to, to show me their worth you know like it's not something that 
they get uh, no matter who they are or no matter what they do to me. Uh, yeah, of course, like you are someone who is um, polite and stuff like that, but you don't owe anyone anything and especially like your energy. So that's all I have for you, pile two. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you resonated with this reading. Also, thank you for liking and subscribing because it helps me a lot with the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Fear nothing. I believe in you. Bye. Welcome, my dear pile three. You chose the quartz. And also your card is number 26, protection, finding what's important. So immediately what I'm getting with this card is that uh, someone trying new things, someone trying like uh, to see like if, what they like, what they don't like. Um, Maybe trying new hobbies, new activities, new stuff. Like maybe also I'm getting a new um, style, hairstyle, new clothes. Like I'm getting someone really in, in a very experimenting energy. Um, also, I'm getting th that, you know, maybe in the past you thought that you know some things um you know were not meant for you and um, they were maybe you wanted to try something but you were like yeah but uh, you know that's not for me and stuff like that so now i'm getting that that you know you are trying different like things and you are letting yourself like um, experiment with different energies if that makes sense um, also with the with the yellow here and the orange i'm getting like a creative energy sacral chakra and solar plexus mm, something is really like making whoa Okay, uh, it's making way. Okay, these two want to come out, so I will take them. Something is really making way, like I'm seeing you trying different things. Yeah, like we also have dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. We have older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. We have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Wow. Like that could be something that, you know, you think as a risky thing. Because, you know, you trying things and, um, you know, maybe you feel... I'm getting like... Um, like an imposter syndrome almost but uh it has like this uh cheeky energy like yeah i i don't feel it very much but i'm going to try it anyway because you know why not so it's not like a, a sinister like um, imposter syndrome almost like uh yeah <laughs> i know that you know um, I don't feel like 100% but you know sometimes um, it's uh, you know it's the things that we think that we cannot do that gives us the most confidence that when we do them if that makes sense so I'm getting someone uh, you know like saying that yeah I know that it's not 100% me, but you know, what's me at the end of the day? Like, I'm trying different things. I'm trying, let's say, different roles. And we have egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Let's see, we have purse, pay attention to your finances. Okay, so maybe you are spending um stuff you are spending your money in stuff on stuff hmm that's so interesting we have people here 
um, yeah, we have an egg which is ready to hatch, like maybe, okay, so I'm getting that there is a, a reinvention of yourself happening, lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry, okay, let's see, we have success, wow, and wealth, like uh, things are coming your way really nicely, wow, and we have a June, hmm, June was uh, in pile two also, um, and the tiger was in pile two. Um, yeah, like, first of all, I'm getting that the main thing here is that you are reinventing yourself, and the blessing that you are not seeing coming is that maybe you will get communication out of the blue with the lightning, like something is going to hit you. Maybe you are in a cheeky energy like, yeah, I'm going to experiment with this and that, you know, and do this thing. And uh, you are almost in this hatching period. And, you know, in, th in the moment that, um, that you are going to, you know, be trying and be like really in this uh, mood, like... I'm seeing a proposal coming your way for something that you are working like with the success here and wealth like something you have been working for quite some time is starting to um, pay off like um, I'm seeing you um, really um, really getting uh, money for that thing maybe you are a, a someone who has a business or maybe you are an actor actress like singer stuff like that okay on the back of the deck we have um mars in gemini with decision hmm. yeah so I'm getting that a decision that you are starting right now, like as we talked before, like you trying different things and, you know, like reinventing yourself, like that is going to uh, lead you to more success than what you are expecting. Maybe you are doing you are doing it just for fun, but I'm seeing like almost um waking up a mechanism for you that it will bring more things into your life if that makes sense and we have moon in capricorn with practicality yeah again we have reaping what you sow like uh we have a lot of wealth we have number 10 uh like house 10 which is um the career uh path and uh, where where else did I get like this energy? Hmm. We have for sure wealth here that it's uh, is indicating that something in your career or your finances is going to um, light up after this um After this, uh, you know, like, change that you are going through. Okay, so... Oh, so, we have three cards for you. We have on the back of the deck, the Coyote and Dadura with Deceit. Hmm. Let's see. So, maybe... Um, Hmm. Okay, we have the bat and hellebore uh, with intuition. Hmm. We have the hound and bear with loyalty. And we have the vulture and asphodel with upheaval. Hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we had with this egg the success assured with good plans and hard work. And we have uh, some people here. So I'm getting that 
something is changing in your energy whatever is uh, that that you are doing uh, keep doing it i'm seeing something like really uh, opening up for you and really bringing in something uh, that is going you know to be like a very um a very good proposal for you that will bring you success and wealth maybe it's something that you have been working on for quite some time but also i'm getting here that you know because we have good plans and we have like uh, we have the coyote and datura uh, with the deceit on the back of the deck and we have the vulture here um i'm getting that maybe you have to be a bit careful with new people coming into your life and with this specific like um proposal that is going to be you know offered to you because we have here also the practicality and uh, like these workers are working um, uh, with someone like telling them what to do or you know not what not to do so i'm getting that there is some there is first of all uh, your spirit guides are saying that you know you should listen to your intuition for what is coming and also with the vulture and as for the like with the upheaval i'm getting that when we have the vultures they are clearing out you know like the debris and stuff that they no longer serve like the environment um there is some clearing there is some aspect of you know like you knowing your worth and you like setting your boundaries in what is coming forward you realizing that you know you are someone um, that you know like has the whole package so your intuition um, plays a huge role in this part of your life where you are going to um, you are going to get many like proposals maybe maybe it's not only one but you should be discerning of how and where you put your loyalty um because you know like um like the pears that they bruise easily like loyalty is also something very um very like um sensitive it needs careful handling so i'm getting here that the main thing is that you are going to bring attention to yourself but also there is something that you need to protect like it's not your loyalty um, that you know in a sense belongs to anybody like it's uh, where you choose to put your loyalty and where you choose to put your energy that is going to bring you the most out of every situation and i'm seeing here um with the bad that your intuition is going to help you very much in this process like to choose where uh, your loyalty like lies and also like with the vulture um and the upheaval i'm sensing that okay i'm hearing now that you know do not afraid to do not be afraid to ask for things and do not be afraid you know to maybe take some risks and you know like um, how we have some cases where we say that you know but i don't want to uh, annoy someone i don't want you know to um go to their limits and stuff like that and then we stay like in one place and we do not ask for what we want because we are afraid that they are going to take their overall proposal you know from the table but i'm getting here with um with this card 
okay, so <laughs> that was confirmation. And, you know, I'm getting with finding what's important. Like, it's important for you, you know, when you get all this attention to know what's important for you and not being afraid, you know, to clear the way and maybe, you know, cause upheaval, uh, quote unquote, and, you know, ask for what you want. Take the risk and, you know, really um, have in mind what's important for you in the long term and do not like back down uh, from opposition. I'm getting maybe that, you know, someone wants to offer you, let's say, uh, less money for a contract that you are going to sign and you are like yeah but you know this is my first big contract but you know I feel that other people are paid more for that and you are like should I ask for more money should I not you know and I'm seeing that your guidance here is that you know follow your intuition and follow what you want like if you feel that you want more money to do that job like ask for that don't be afraid like your loyalty and your energy where you put your focus in is going to grow things exponentially for the other person or you know even for yourself but if you are working let's say for a company you are going to bring them a lot and it's uh, like it's not fair you know not to um, get some of you know your hard work back uh, when you sign uh, your contract and you know I'm getting that as a, an energy like that could be anything but you know along these lines there's something that's going to be offered to you and you are being called to really um, you know no, I'm hearing like ask for more if you feel that you want more like don't be afraid to ask for more don't be afraid to realize your mm, your worth and ask for it for more uh, we also have the world and it's so interesting because it seems here that um, you know you have been growing uh, inside and out under the watchful eye of the world or under the watchful eye of the universe like uh, your spirit guides and the universe are right beside you and they want you know to help you and of course we have three of pentacles like you are really assisted by three so do not be afraid you know to ask for things that um, uh, that you are worthy of wow and we have seven of swords uh, on the back uh, that's so interesting interesting we had the deceit before we have the seven of swords so i'm getting for you that this is a message uh, for your blessing but your blessing comes with a specific um, trait so there is uh, your your spirit guides are communicating to you that something is coming yeah of course like success and wealth is waiting for you but also you should be careful about like the contracts that you are signing because we have 10th house here career something um that, that needs negotiation is what I'm getting like you need to look that thing in the eyes and not being af afraid you know to ask for what you want and you know do not back down in opposition I'm seeing that you are really supported uh, in this way and you know like uh, also we had protection you are really protected by the universe and at this time of your life it's really important to find what is best for you and what is not and uh, yeah let me see if i get anything more yeah with the egg here also i wanted to say that you know, when the egg hatches, like, you never know what is, uh, you know, it's going to give. And um, 
I'm getting that your work and your mind and your energy where you put your loyalty has a great potential uh, pile three. So do not forget that. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you resonated with this reading. Also, thank you for liking and subscribing because it helps me a lot with the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Fear nothing. I believe in you. Bye.